Shalom Akin for Saul praise and glory Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rechem for Dash, the one plus millstone, and sight intellect. Well, I'll get a lesson on real quick. Based off, you know, doing the works, man. Now, what these, um, what these Christian pastors say, a lot of you people they, in the world say that you're basically just, um, just go to church, this and that, and you'll be good to go, right? But the truth is, that's not, that's not, that's not the scriptures works, but that's not the most how it works. You need to have works to show that you are truly believing in this, man. You can't just say, I believe. No one can say, I, I, I'm a Christian. You can't and just get to say it like that, bro. You can't say, I, I personally accept Jesus Christ alone for Savior. And then just go straight back. And then do what the hell you want. And do nothing about it. You, know, you gotta have works in this thing, man. And that's funny, it's in the scriptures, bro. This is James 2, verse 14, and it reads, What do I profit, my brethren? Though a man may have man say he have faith and have not works, can faith save him? Can say, say can faith save you if just just saying that you believe? Anyone can say that, bro. Anyone can say that you believe, right? Verse six, sorry, verse seventeen. It reads, even so, faith if it have not works is dead, being alone. Because look, just having you saying that you believe doesn't mean anything, bro. I believe I could believe that I'm, I'm the greatest fucking basketball player of all time, right? But I'm putting the effort, I'm putting the time. No one's gonna believe you, right? Hey, hey, it's try. I'm just going to an interview, right? It's like, yeah, I work for this, that, and the other. Like, oh, say I'm the best. Say yeah, I'm the best chef of all time. And you're like, well, what's what are your credentials? They're like, well, I said so. No one's gonna fucking believe you. You can say you're the best thing ever. You can say that you're the best. You make the best drawings of, of entire of entire human history, right? But you got no art to show it. Then who's gonna fucking believe you, man? Verse 18 says, Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, I have works. Show me thy faith without that works, and I'll show you my show you the my faith by my works. Because I say show you faith, but it's through your three works, you know. You get, get into the word man, post these videos, because look. Anyone can see these videos at any single moment. It's out. It's out. Out publicly, bro. Out publicly. You, know, your coworkers can stumble upon it. Anyone can stumble upon this truth. And it's showing that you work. That you truly believe in the thing that you're proclaiming. That you truly believe in the word, bro, and nothing else. Because honestly, you don't do anything about it. <coughs> you don't do anything, man. Just sit at home. And they say, yeah, I believe it, keep a warrior. It doesn't help you, man. And that being said, too, since you have the knowledge and understanding of this truth of the word, man, it is your now it is now your duty to proclaim this, man. It is your duty to a to prophesy these words, man. To prophesy. Make that in Ezekiel real quick. It's true. Sorry. Because, not, because now he's gone, this truth isn't something that you just lay back on, bro. You just can't lay back and hold this truth, bro. You no, know, yeah, give it out there, bro. Because it was, it was freely given to you. you gotta do the same thing, man. I'll leave it, I'll leave it in 17. Fuck it. Is Ezekiel, Ezekiel 33 and sorry, I'm sorry for this from the top and read again the word on where the most I came to me saying son of man speak to the children of thy speak to the children of thy people and say unto them I will bring the sword upon a lamb if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for the for their watchman and also, we're the, we're the watchmen now, bro. We're watching. We're seeing these prophecies happen, man. If, if when he see if the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. Then whosoever hear the sound of the trumpet and take not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. So, hey, if you hear this, because I said, we're doing, we're letting people know, we're letting people know, like, hey, destruction's gonna come. Now, if you don't take it, hey, that's something that's on them, bro. 
they had a warning. You're out there in the highways and byways. We're out there on YouTube, bro. You're complaint, uh, proclaiming the truth. Saying, hey, get right, get right. Or you're going to get destroyed. Got on, on them, bro. But he that hear, he, that he heard the sound of the trumpet. <coughs> he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning should deliver his soul. But he that taketh warning, bro. And we're, and we're taking the warning, man. We heard the warning, bro. And we're trying to deliver our soul. And they say we're doing something about it. <laughs> but the watchmen see the sword come and blow the trumpet. And the people be not warned, and the sword come in and take any person from among them. He is taken away from iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Because hey, you saw you saw you saw the sword come, bro. That's the thing. We see the prophecies ha happening in the past, bro. We're seeing it and you come come to fruition, man. The with the mark, bro, the World War Three, man. And yet if you don't do anything about it, they and so I said it quick, his blood, but his blood will I acquire at the watchman's hand. Because we're supposed to give out the warning, bro. Basically, we're not doing our job. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman to Israel. Therefore, thou shalt hear the word of my mouth and warn them from me. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. If thou not speak to the warn. If thou not speak to warn the wicked from his way, the wicked shall die in iniquity, but I'll, but his blood will I cart at thine hand. Because we know, hey, that we hear these people going off, man. That's what going to hide by for. That's the last one out there for saying that, hey, these people are wicked, get right. And if they don't get right, hey, that blood is on them. They're washing blood for our own hands, man. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way, to turn from it, if he will, if he do it not turn from his way, he shall surely die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. <laughs> hey, that's what we're doing, man. We're letting him know, hey, playing this truth that hey, be careful, hey, turn turn away before it's still time, man. <laughs> Let's get the next one real quick. Is Luke nine verse sixty two, and it reads. And Yahushua said unto him, No man having put his plan to the plow, and looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh. So hey, you since you're in this man, since you're in this truth for you, bro, and you decided to look back, you decided to to draw back, man, hey, that's on you, bro. This is this is nothing that you just pick up, leave off, and pick up again. It's not like riding a bike, bro. No. It's a constant you gotta keep constantly doing, constantly doing, constantly doing it. You can't just stop. <sighs> Let me get that real quick. Come. But this is Hebrews 10 verse 38. And it reads, Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. <laughs> but we are not them who draw, who draw back with perdition. But of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Say, so, hey, you're not supposed to draw back, but once we're in this thing, you're in this thing, bro. Say, so, dude, you know, I have to have works, but I gotta show that you gotta truly believe in this thing. You just can't pick this up and and leave this off, bro. Reality is Christianity will teach, bro. Christianity, you see, you, you could leave the church for years and years. Like, for example, right? Say, I go back to my old church, right? They'll welcome you back with open, open, open arms. They say, well, we're glad you found back your way to Jesus Christ. The truth ain't like that, man. The truth is, hey, you took your hand to the plow. That, yeah, that's on you. You gotta hope the most high shows mercy upon you, bro. Because honestly, this isn't this isn't this isn't no fucking Boy Scout shit, bro. This is some real shit, man. You gotta realize you're at war. You're at war with the spirit with the wicked shit that's going on in this world, man. And you decided to just go air wall. Well you're in the middle of a goddamn battlefield. You know, about all these wickednesses, all these demons. And you said, let's go back. Hey, those demons will overtake you. Now, brothers can't do it. Brothers can't do it because you decided to go off on your, on your own. They said, all right, I don't want to do this no more. And you decided to drop your gun and just leave. Drop your sword and leave. You have nothing to protect you now. And you're in the middle of a goddamn battlefield. You basically better hope the Lord has mercy upon you, man. What else do I get? Okay. 
But that give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Kakwadash. That's all I give. Shalom.